There's a very quick and easy way in Unity that you can exit your game, so we'll cover that and we'll also do a pop-up box to confirm yes or no, are you sure you want to quit? So first of all, just for the quit button, I've got a very simple main menu that I've made just with a couple of buttons. If we look at the exit one, we'll attach a script which will allow us to exit the application. Now this won't do anything in the editor, uh, in play mode, but once you've built your game, it'll end your, your game session and exit the game. So first of all, I'm actually going to add a new game object, and this is what I'm going to attach my script that will handle the, the exiting. Um, so I'm just going to call it uh, menu manager, and if we reset the transform, uh, let's add a script to this, and we'll add a new script, and I'm just going to call this exit. So create an ad, if we open that up, and what we're going to do in here is just use a very simple public method that that button on the menu can use. So we can start by getting rid of the start and update methods. We won't need those. And we'll create a, a public method. So public void. And I'm just going to call mine quit game. And in this public method, the only thing we need to use is application.quit. And we're just going to call that from the button. So if we save that and head back into Unity, and the button that we have here in our menu, if you scroll down in the inspector, you'll see the uh, on click. Now, yours will probably start with that and say list is empty, so you just need to click on the plus. Uh, we can change this from runtime only to editor runtime. Like I said, it won't work in the editor. Um, and then we're gonna drag in the object that we've got our script attached to, our exit script. And that will allow us to then, in this exit script, access any public methods that we've made in there. So you can see the quick game one is, is there. So we'll select that. Now, as I said, if we hit play now and click exit, nothing will happen in the editor. But if we build and run the game, so now I've built and run the game and we have our main menu. And if I click on the exit button, it'll then close down. So it's taken us back. So that's the uh, quick and easy way that you can do the, the exit of the game. And what I'll show now is just an easy way that you can do a confirmation prompt. So if we hit exit by accident, it will ask us, are you sure you want to quit? So what I'm gonna do to do that, I have in my main menu canvas here, I've got a, a panel, which is this, um, this one with the play buttons on. I'm just gonna create a new panel because I want it to gray out the, uh, the main menu behind it. I'll call this, um, I'll call it quick panel, call it whatever you like. And I'm just going to change that to a bit of a gray so it sort of um, grays out the menu behind it. Uh, and then within this, I'm going to add an image. And let's just set that to 400 and something like 220 just so it covers up the uh, the menu behind or it's got enough room to fit our text and our um, new couple of buttons in there. I'm just going to change the image to something that I've got set, just something simple. And then what we're going to do now is add uh, some text to say, are you sure you want to quit? And then uh, two buttons. So we'll do one for exit and one for cancel. So cancel will take us back to the main menu. So within this uh, this image, I had some text and uh, let's make that red and we'll put it towards the top and we'll just say um, are you sure just something basic and let's just make that a little bit wider Okay, we've got our text there, and let's add a couple of buttons. So we'll add a, a text mesh row button, and we'll call this the uh, quit button. And let's just tweak it here. So I'll just move that. I'm going to do, I'll do them uh, above each other. So let's go into the button itself and just change the text so it says quit. Let's just change the color, we'll change it to red again. And uh, again, I'll just change that UI sprite. So we'll put a blue button on there and then we will duplicate that. And we'll move it down and um, 
we'll name this one cancel and just change the text on there. There we go. So at the start of the game, we'll want this to be um, deactivated. So what I'm going to do, so we've got our, our quick panel here and our uh, main menu panel. We'll start that quick panel so it's deactivated uh, when we start the game. Just before we do that though, we just need to reconfigure our button. So currently this is still set up to be the exit button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our exit script. We're going to set up a reference to this new panel that we've made. And then we're also going to set up a couple of new methods, new public methods, one to open this panel and one to close the panel. So this will be hooked up to our cancel and um, quit buttons on the, the main menu. So if we head back into our script, and first of all, we'll just want a reference to the um, panel that we've made. I'm just going to do it to the game object and call it uh, quit panel. Uh, and then we'll want two public methods. So public void, and we'll call this um, open are you sure? And in that, what we're going to do is just use that quick panel dot set active, and then we want this to uh, activate that game object. So we'll set that to true, and then we're going to do another public method, public void, and this will be close. Are you sure? And same again, we'll do quick panel dot set active and this time it's going to be false. So calling these methods will activate and deactivate that panel. So if we head back into Unity now, so I've saved that script, and what we'll do now is hook up the buttons. So first of all, in our menu manager, you can see on our exit script, we now have a reference to this quick panel that we've made. So I'm just going to drag that in there and hook that up. And then in the buttons that we have on here, on our quick panel, for our quick button, this is the one that we actually want to exit the game on. So again, we'll hit the plus, I'll change it to Edge and Runtime, and we'll drag in the menu manager, which has our exit script attached. Go to exit, and then our quick game method is in there. So we'll set that up. And then on our cancel button, we actually just want to close this menu and go back to the main menu. So if we set that up again, exactly the same way, menu manager, and then in our exit um, script, you'll see we've got the close are you sure? So that's set up, and I will now deactivate the quick panel, and then we want to change the function that we're calling on the exit button in here, and it's already got the menu manager attached. We go to exit, and this will be the open are you sure function, or method rather. So if we save that, and again, nothing will happen in the uh, editor for, for actually quitting the game. So I'm just going to build and run. Okay, so we're here, we're here in the game, we have our main menu. If we hit exit, our panel will pop up. You see we've sort of greyed out the menu behind it. We've got are you sure? If I click cancel, we'll go back to the main menu. And if we hit quit on the are you sure, it'll exit our game. So there we go. There's two ways you can set that up, either just with a straight quit button or with a, uh, a prompt before you exit to say, are you sure?